Hello and welcome back to our playthrough of Majora's Mask. Today's going to be a little bit of a shorter episode because we're taking on the boss of the Snowhead Temple. We're pretty much at the end of this dungeon. Oh, looks like I got to punch out that block to climb up. Yeah, we're going to fight a mini boss and then go directly into the boss fight. And then we'll be able to finish this temple and go restore the great fairy for this area. We collected all the stray fairies in the last episode and pretty much completed this dungeon. There's one or two things left before the boss fight and that'll be it. Okay, looks like we got to roll across this in uh, Goron ball form to make our way over to the boss door. I was trying to back up to get a good run at this, but if I back up any further, I actually go down those stairs, so... There we go. But I think I got to drop down a floor to that door below us, because I can see the boss key in there. But of course, there's going to be some sort of mini boss guarding it. All right, just wanted to make sure I had the right items equipped for this fight. Now this is, of course, the same boss we fought earlier to get the fire arrows. He just has more hiding places in this room. So instead of the four corners of the room, he has, what, like six places he can hide in here? He's got it. Catch him in time to line up a couple good shots. There's one of them. One more and I think he's done for. I'm actually having an easier time fighting him in here than I did in the smaller room. Just give us one good shot here. Alright, that did it. I guess he had a seventh hiding spot up on that platform too, so... There's a lot of places he could have gone to hit us from, but we managed to take him out pretty easily. And that's going to give us the boss key to go take on the boss fight. Now I do remember hearing that the boss fights were all a little different in this version of the game. Oh, that door's locked. We have to go back out the other way. And I noticed Odalwa was a bit of a tougher fight than I'm used to. Normally, I have no problem taking him out. So, kind of interested in how this next boss fight is going to go. I just remember hearing that they made the version of Twin Mold in this game brutally difficult to fight. I don't think I can make that jump back there. Okay, this just leads back into here and we have to go out the other way. So we're going to have to drop down a floor. Which I think will lead us to the boss anyway. So let's go fight the boss of this dungeon. I was looking at the jump across without even thinking about jumping down here.
All right, straight shot across here and we'll be able to open the boss door. Boss kind of looks the same anyway. We'll see if it plays any different. All right, we're all equipped and ready to take on this boss. Let's collect a few arrows and make sure we're ready. And then we'll fire a fire arrow at him to free him from that ice. I'm excited. This used to be my favorite boss fight in the game, but I'll have to see how they've changed it in this 3D version. Mechanical monster goat. So we need to roll after him in Goron form and hit him using our spikes. I don't remember him having that big eyeball on his back, but it's been a long time since I've played this. See if I can catch up to him. Basically a big bot or big racetrack this boss fight area. Alright, he's down. Yeah, it seems like we gotta hit this eyeball with the fire arrows. I can't remember if that was in the original boss fight. Kinda wanna look back at my original playthrough on the N64 and see if this fight was like this. Cause I noticed the fight with Odalwa was a little different. Okay, not sure how many shots it's going to take to uh, take him out, but it doesn't seem that difficult. Like, we're not taking a lot of damage fighting him and just catching him and lining up our shots. And not ending up on the wrong end of the goat. Okay, he got away from me that time. Seems like the camera angle could also be a problem in this fight. Alright, I don't think he has much left in him. If we can do that again, I think it'll be the end of him. Alright, I guess he had one more round in him. Okay, again, he's not really damaging us. It's just a matter of catching him.
Got him. Let's go collect our heart container. And of course, goat's remains. Right, we've freed the innocent spirit imprisoned within this dark mask. What exactly are all of you? Guardians. So you're protective gods. That's why you're in the temples. But why are the protective gods... No, wait, are you listening to me? Hey, wait. melted. Now all we have to do is restore the great fairy and collect whatever power she's going to bestow on us. So I need to make my way back up Snowhead. So I want to turn in all these stray fairies before I accidentally reset time and forget to do it. Okay, this way to Snowhead. Wait, we can just use the Song of Soaring, I believe, to get us pretty much right to the front of the temple, instead of having to roll our way across there again. It's not a big shortcut, but it saves me from making all those jumps again. Well, that's the big Goron we knocked off the edge to get into the temple. I wonder if he'll say anything to us. What in the world have I been doing this whole time? Why am I sitting in a place like this? So he really has no memory of anything that just happened. Take that, bird. I am restoring this fairy before I forget. No bird is about to stop me from that task. Alright, I've had about enough of those wolves too. Of course, the Great Fairy Fountains here underneath Snowhead. Because we collected them all, we should be able to restore her now. <laughs> oh, strong young one, I'm the Great Fairy of Power. 
Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. As thanks, I grant you the prowess with this new sword technique. <laughs> I like that his eyes just like bulge open. And we mastered the spin attack. Press and hold B to release power. Cool. Alright, well we've defeated the boss and restored the great fairy. Time to test out our new spin attack. Well, I think this is where we're going to leave it for today. Thanks for watching and come see our next episode. Bye for now.